Welcome to Guns of Gear Network, everyone. Appreciate you tuning in. If you're ready to up your overlanding, prepping, and glamping game, stick around and I'll show you how. Welcome back guys, appreciate you tuning in. So today I'm going to show you how to up your game when it comes to overlanding, glamping, prepping, that sort of thing when it comes to using the bathroom, the restroom. So a lot of us, when you get into camping and all that, uh, a lot of times you might have a wife or a kid or something that uh, struggle wanting to enjoy camping and one of the people that don't enjoy camping or have issues with certain parts of camping one of the big sticklers a lot of times is the restroom situation and so this right here can get you a little closer to the creature comforts of home it is a portable sink and toilet system built into one uh, unit and i'm going to share that with you today the great thing about this system is the fact that it is uh, less than a hundred dollars including shipping to your door so how I came across this was kind of by accident, to be honest with you. I apologize for not producing more videos, but just life in general, work. I've uh, been doing some uh, new business with my son. That's kind of taken away from uh, some of this YouTube thing. But um, when I was doing my research on the concession side of things for my son, I was looking for a portable sink. And during my research, I popped up with this. And I said, well, that's great. This looks cool. Uh, this right here has a lot of potential for especially camping and stuff. So you can take one of these and set it up in like one of those pop-up uh, tents that they have for, uh, that, you know, they call them shower tents or whatever. I like the two-room system. I think it's made by Stan Sport. They make one that's a two-room system that's really nice. Um, but, uh, you know, in a trailer, possibly, if you got an overlanding trailer, uh, you know, camping trailer. Some of the camping trailers don't have a bathroom system. Uh, and this right here would be something that would be awesome to have. But, um, again, $100 shipped to your, less than $100 shipped to your door. So I'll show you, we'll do a little walk around here and kind of show you the features and benefits of this thing and show you what I'm talking about. But uh, one of the first things that I was concerned about because of the price, I was a little scared of the quality. You know, is it going to be decent? Uh, because that, for $100, I thought it was great. But let me show you this. This is a little hammer I got. It is solid so it's nice thick molded plastic and uh, what you have here is you have a fill tank that holds your fresh water that comes up to your basin bowl to wash your hands and i'll show you how this works so you'd fill this with water here is your fill valve you just unscrew this fill it with water pour it in whatever you want to do use your garden hose then you have this foot pedal so it's hands free you just pump this a few times and water starts coming out just like that and built-in soap dispenser. You just simply put your soap in there. It has a little cutout section here for bar, like a bar of soap. It also has this. You can hang toilet paper or you can hang a towel. Uh, I would probably use it to hang toilet paper. I may do something different with a toilet paper holder, but that's uh, that. This right here is adjustable. You can move it around because it is friction fit into this hole that has this hose here that goes down to the, your fuel station where your pump is. Then you have your uh, water, uh, your valve, I mean, I'm sorry, your pipe that uh, disposes of your uh, wastewater. If you look, attention to detail, they even have a little stainless steel screen in here that uh, keeps particulates and stuff uh, getting into your system. But uh, that, once you use the basin and, and wash your hands or whatever, it comes over into this tank here. This is a freshwater catch tank for your um, toilet. So it's a two-part system. You have fresh water up here, then you have your gray water or um, your water you're going to dispose of down here uh, in this other catch basin. So the reason they do that is this. I'll show you. So you have. A cover lid then you have the seat lid pull that up and the reason is is because it is flushable just like that so 
if you look at the water standing there the reason is you have to pull this the trailer's in the front and it releases everything in there so the way I would probably use this is uh, once you uh, do your business open this up and then flush the bowl out like that and then seal it back that keeps from odors and things like that from coming back through because it seals up the two units from each other it is detachable so you have a latch here and you have a latch on the other side to be able to remove this tank and go dispose of it also has two handles for easy carry has a carry handle here to be able to move it around it has these little pieces here all the way around all four corners so if you needed to mount it somewhere you can do that if you wanted to use the sink and not the toilet what you would do is simply unscrew it from here and then run this uh, hose system over into a catch bucket of some sort you could do that so you concession people just needing a little uh, hand wash sink something like this run it over into a catch bucket that's all you need to do so but overall excellent excellent quality really happy i found it this i'll show you this real quick this this and this is separate pieces when you get it so you're going to assemble that portion of it the uh, one portion screws in and the other is a friction fit it's really really tight so what you're going to have to do the way i did it was i got it started and then i popped it with a rubber mallet to seat it into place because it is really tough to get in that's how that works but uh I, you know, I always look at stuff when I'm buying. Am I going to have problems with it? Is it, you know, what am I going to do about warranty or whatever? There's not a whole lot on this thing that can break. Most of the things that could potentially break the, or, you know, get damaged or need replacing like this hoses and stuff, you can buy that type stuff uh, and you can make something work from Lowe's or whatever. But overall, I'm really, really happy with it and uh, pretty excited to have it. I think it'll be a great addition to our concession trailer as far as the sink and all that we need and then be able to take it camping or whatever. Um, the only thing that would concern me a little bit if you are camping, let's say you go uh, set up a deer camp every year and it's like cold or elk camp and it's really cold, is that water freezing? So if you don't have it in a, like a heated type tent or something, you might have issues with that. So you might, have, in, in cold water, in cold winters, um, cold weather, you might have some issues with freezing. So just keep that in mind. You might have to do something a little different than this setup, but uh, you know, as long as you're not getting down to extended periods of freeze, uh, low, really low temperatures, you should be fine uh, with this setup here. But anyway, guys, if you got any experience with something like this, uh, let us know that in the comments section below. Because uh, I don't see a lot of reviews or information about this setup, and I'm a little surprised, to be honest with you. I just don't think people are aware that it's out there at this price point. So, but anyway, guys, if you got any questions, you can post those below. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up. And if you would, if you hadn't subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell out beside of it. It'll let you know when we produce new videos and release them. And as always, guys, like, share, and subscribe. Bring another video short. Have a great day.